praised forever. Let your name be 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 praised forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are the Lord most high. You are the Lord most high. You are the Lord most high. Oh my God, my God. You are the Lord most high. You are the Lord most high. You are the Lord most high, Father God. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Yes, you are Jesus. Yes, you are the Lord most high. Yes, you are the Lord most high. Yes, you are the Lord most high. Daddy, you are the Lord most high. You are the Lord most high, Jesus. You are the Lord most high. 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 Let your name be lifted up, O God. Let your name be exalted, O God. Let your name be glorified, Jesus. Let your name be lifted on high. 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 Glory to you, Father. Honor to your name, Jesus. Honor to your name, Jesus. We worship you, Father. We glorify you, Jesus. We magnify your holy name. You alone deserves all the glory. You alone deserves all the honor. You alone deserves all the worship. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. God bless those of you joining. Hallelujah. Please share, share and invite others. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. It is well with all of you. It is well with all of you. It is well with all of you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Hallelujah. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Hallelujah. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Hallelujah. Most high God. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Hallelujah. Most high God. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Hallelujah, most high God, yes, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, most high, yes, you are the Lord, ah, most high God, yes, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, most high, yes, you are the Lord, hallelujah. Most high, God, yes, you are the Lord, you are the Lord. Most high, yes, you are the Lord. Most high, God. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. 
Yes, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, most high God. Yes, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, hallelujah, most high God. Yes, you are the Lord, you are the Lord. Most high, yes, you are the Lord. Oh, most high, yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord, most high, yes, you are the Lord. Hallelujah, most high God. Yes, you are the Lord, most high, you are the Lord. Good morning, Mary Lane. God bless you. God bless you. God bless every one of you. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. Manda Kayalabash. He is the Lord, most high. He is the Lord, most high. He is the Lord, most high. He is the Lord Most High. We just want to worship Him, worship Him, worship Him, worship Him. Father, we worship You. We worship You. We magnify You. We glorify You. We exalt You, Jesus. We adore You, Jesus. We lift Your holy name on high. We lift Your holy name on high, Jesus. We lift Your holy name on high. Oh, He is the Lord Most High. He is the Lord Most High. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, Jesus, to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, O oh God. You are worthy to be praised, Father. Manda kaya da boi shede kala da 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 da. Oh, share and invite your friends. Share and invite others. Share and invite others. Share and invite others. Share and invite others. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You change it not. Good day, Sister Yelin. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Oh, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Oh, karata kalada ba shede kayada. Regali gelege bo shinde kayada. The God we serve is a mighty God. The God we serve is a faithful father. Oh, do you know that the Lord we serve, he is too faithful to fail. He is too faithful to fail. He is too faithful to fail. I know that God never fails. Do you know that God never fails? He abides with us. He gives us victory. For God never fails. Just keep your faith and never cease to pray. Just walk upright morning, noon, day, and night. He'll be there, he'll be there. There's no need to worry for God never fail. I just remember the song. We used to sing it back in our teenage, teenage age in the choir. When we were teenagers in the choir. God never fails. It does not matter how long it is, but God never fails. God never fails. He never, ever fails. He is the only true God. He is our only true friend. He is the King of kings, our soon coming Messiah. That is whom he is. Ah, he is taller than the tallest. He is higher than the highest. He is deeper than the deepest. Oh my goodness. Oh, Karadabosh. He is greater than the greatest. He is a big, big God. Higher. How big is your God? Oh, Tua Kachine Kanyidi. Agidigba. Oh, Tua Kachine Kanyidi. Agedigbao, 
o twa ka chine kanyi di agidigba e jiova agidigba e our god is great and mighty great and mighty jehova great and mighty our god is great and mighty great and mighty jehova great and mighty my god is great and mighty Great and mighty Jehovah is great and mighty. How many of us know that? The God you serve, he is great and he is mighty. The God that we serve is great and he is mighty. The God that you and I serve, he is a great God. He is a mighty God. He is a mighty God. He is a loving Father. Oh, raga laga boy, she de Canada. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, 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 Jesus, we thank you, Jesus, we thank you, Jesus, we thank you, Jesus, we magnify you, Jesus, oh, we glorify your name, we glorify your name, oh, we glorify your name, Jesus, we magnify you, thank you, Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus, you are indeed great and you are mighty. You are indeed great and you are mighty. You are indeed great and you are mighty. Oh, may your name be praised forever. 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 Oh, makarada ba shinde kerebos. Lende karada ba shinde kerebos. Masende karada ba shinde kaya. Yes. Oh, baragali gelege bosh. Manta karada ba shinde ria. He is great. He is great. He is great. Oh, everything that was written about him is great. Everything written about him is great. Everything written about our God is great. Glory to you, Jesus. Glory to you, Jesus. Honor to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, man, the Karabashendiria. Let your name be praised forever. In the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Oh, we worship you, King of Glory. Oh, Karabashende Kalada. Regarigalaga boss, Kandarabashana. Masende Kalida boss, Kandekaya. Mashende kerele bos kanda da baba baba. Mashende kaya da bas. Maskende bos kende de bos shende kaya. Oh Jesus, we worship you. Oh makara da bas sinde kala da bas. We worship you. Maskende kara da bos. We worship you. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my Karagalaga was saying the Kalada was she the hair. Rain the Kayala was saying the Kalada was shanda. Oh, my Skanda Kayalaba. Regadigalagabo send the Kaya. You are the Lord Almighty. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise, oh God. We give you praise, oh God. Mashend the Kalada was send the Kayaba. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Baba, Shinde, Karada, Bashende, He. Regaligalagabos, Kende, Kayaba. Ragaligalagabos, Shandaraba. Ragalagabos, Kende, Karada, Bash. Regaligalagabos, Kende, Karada, Baba. Rabba, Baba, Baba, Bashende, Kalada, Bosende, He. You alone deserve all the praise. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. You deserve all the worship. You deserve all adoration in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we worship you. Father God, we worship you. Father God, we worship you. Oh, my Karadaba Shende Kaladaba. Forever, forever, oh God. Your word is settled. Your word is settled. Your word is settled all over our lives, all over our families. It is settled in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We bless you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. Rababa send the kaya. Maskende kore de wash. Makara da ba 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 ba. Yen 
and the love of she the color of all sin the hair. Lord, we give you the praise. Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. Oh, my color of all she the kayaba. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glorify your name here today. Let your name be praised, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I cover myself, everyone online in the blood of Jesus. We cover this platform in the blood of Jesus. Forever, O oh God, you are faithful. Forever, O oh God, you are worthy. Forever, O oh God, you are awesome. Forever, O oh God, you are God. Yes, you are God. Yes, you are God. Yes, you are God. And may your name be praised forever. May your name be praised forever. Ooh. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. For a minute, just begin to appreciate the Holy Ghost yourself. Begin to appreciate Him. For the wonderful thing is done, is doing, is still going to do. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Rababa. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, O oh God. Welcome, everybody. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. God bless you. God bless you. We are having an amazing time. Oh, yes. Fasting is not always easy. Oh, yes. When you fast, you go weak in the physical. There are so many. Yes, that is true. That is the whole purpose of fasting. Fasting is to discipline your flesh. Fasting is to discipline your flesh. Fasting is to discipline your flesh. God bless you, Sister Maria. God bless every one of you. I've only slept since yesterday. I've only slept for like two hours and a few minutes. So you see me yawning and yawning. Don't mind me. It's because my body needs sleep. <laughs> Hello, Sister Rose. I hope I pronounced that right. It's because my body is yearning for sleep. <laughs> yes, cover this platform in the blood of Jesus. Brethren, come on, guys. Didn't you know that we have some monitoring spirits? Monitoring themselves, not us. Monitoring themselves and not us. So let us cover this platform in the blood of Jesus. Hello, Sister Mimi. God bless you. God bless you real good. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. How big is your God? <laughs> you too. I hope we, we don't sleep off together. <laughs> I hope we don't sleep off because our body is lacking sleep. Ah, only two hours. We started, no, actually me, I started like after 10 o'clock, a few minutes past 10 with the, another group. Then came online at 12, I'll be after 12, right from there to online. We'll be online for like three hours, stay like around three, after three, and then finished. That was when we were able to sleep for like two hours or two hours and some few or some minutes. And then we are back. Me, I was already up by 10 to 6. I was there at 6 o'clock. We finished. I still couldn't sleep. You know, I couldn't sleep. So it is very easy. So the body now wants to some sleep. <laughs> ah, it will sleep after the program. <laughs> we cover this platform with the blood of Jesus. We cover this platform in the blood of Jesus. So also all of you, it's not just me, it's all of us. Most of you has been like that too, no sleep. You are like me, you've slept for like two hours or two hours something. Some have not even slept. Maybe now it's when some of some people in America want to start planning to sleep. No, actually you are in the morning, it's already past 12. So you have slept a bit and woken up. But none of us have had good sleep anyway. But it is worth it. It is worth it. When you think about what you are expecting from the Lord, Oh my God, no sacrifice is too great. No sacrifice is too great, honestly. Hallelujah. It is our enough is enough. Hmm. Today's program theme is enough. Yes, it is about deliverance. But enough of those struggles. Enough of all those bullets. Enough of all these setbacks, failures. Enough of everything. Huh? Enough of all that the enemies has been stolen from your life. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I want to thank God for the deliverance he's done since we started in the midnight. And we still want to thank him for the ones he's still going to do because there is more to do. He's going to do. He's going to do. He's going to do what only he can do. 
Wow, Sister Maria, are you back to your location already? You are a strong woman who drove for eight hours, went to work eight hours. Ah, ah, hey, hey. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hey. God is your strength, oh. <laughs> the Lord is your strength, oh. In the name of Jesus. Come on, guys. Let us share. Let us share and invite others to join us. Let us share and invite others to join us. Just take one minute to appreciate God for your life. And the lives of your family. Just take one, one, one minute to say, Lord, thank you. One minute. Just one minute. Father, say, Lord, I thank you for my life. I thank you for my family. I thank you for who you are. Oh, oh don't mind me. <laughs> I thank you for all you've done, all you are doing, and all that you are still going to do within these 24 hours of fasting. In the name of Jesus. You know, some people, they don't like to fast. Some people are fasting, but they are working, and they may not be here now. I know. I'm still trying to figure out how to promote uh, videos on Facebook. I've not figured it out yet. Because that is how you get more view. People you see with plenty view, that is how they do it. So they promote their videos and Facebook gets uh, uh, people to watch. You know, and you pay Facebook. It's not free. <laughs> so I'm still looking for a way to do it. I've not discovered it yet. I'm, I've been playing and playing with it, but I've not been able to to get the actual way. So if anybody have an idea on how we can promote our videos on Facebook, you know how to market it on Facebook. To pro we need to promote our videos. So people can, so that God can reach out to more souls. So that more souls can surrender their lives to God. I told you this platform is about soul winning. We are passionate about souls and helping people. So that God can, you know, connect more people to us. But when you share too, if all of us here online share, you need a job. Ask God now for job, bros. Just go to God. Lord, I need a job. Pray about it. They are sending your CVs to everywhere you know. Send your CVs out. That's how to do it. I pray for you that the Lord will give you that job that will, that will, that will help you. That job that will not be a, stand, a standing block to your services to God. I pray that open, doors be opened unto you in the name of Jesus. You will get your miracle job in the name of Jesus. Keep applying for jobs and jobs will come to you. If you believe in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We want to see another story before we go into prayer. Today I told some people I was going to pray for them 101. God bless you, Sister Mary. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Yeah, we're going to just go straight briefly into the word. And then, was it Angela? She's not online now. The guy I said I was going to invite and pray for. I was going to pray for her before that first video. The first video, I couldn't really pray because I needed to, I couldn't pray for people then because I needed to find out where my son was, you know. But then she, he's fine, praise God. He's fine. Who is yawning like me? <laughs> Tired and sleepy. Because of lack of sleep, eh? We are going to look at the life of a man. <laughs> Sister Maria. You have come again with your pin in information. <laughs> okay, let me go and get it. Glory to you, Jesus. I pray she comes online. The sister that uh, then, then we are talking, those people that we are talking about, spirit husband. Spirit husband. Why? Spirit husband everywhere. Spirit husband. Almost everybody, spirit husband. Yes, yeah, Sister Regina, and there was one other one. Is it Kak? No, I've prayed for, is it Cake? How do you pronounce K A K? I don't know whether it's Kak or Cake or. <laughs> you want the people to bless us. Okay, people, but really, it's not you. You are not supposed to come before God empty handed, anyways. I didn't want to share it previously. Um. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know. I don't really know how long you have been in that situation. Okay, and you too, for prayers. 
Looks like I might have to stand up oh, because this chair self is making me more tired and sleepy. You know, it's too relaxed. Before the man of God would just say, I'm so asked, oh God. You guys will begin to laugh at me, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I will have to go and stand up. Oh. Uh, should I stand? Maybe I will stand though. Maybe I have to stand. I don't want to doze off. <laughs> because we are all, all of us, we need to sleep. <laughs> They say when waiting man, they key not die. They know they put them for pockets. <laughs> we are not going to put it. You don't put it in your pocket. <laughs> Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Until what you are looking for gets to you. Ah, I don't have fun in my room. <laughs> we don't have fun. <laughs> we don't use fun that much in the UK. It's just that it's been warm this summer. Maybe I'll open the window a little bit more. We don't use fun, love. I don't have fun. My husband said I should go and buy fun last week. I didn't go. I'm like, if I buy the fan now, one week now it will start to rain, cold will come. When the cold come now, <laughs> good morning, Star Johnson. <laughs> when the cold come now, the, star, the fan will be useless. I said, okay, let's watch it first. Let's watch it again and see. That is why I did not buy fan. Maybe I'll go and get fan. What I need is a chair. I need, you know, the office chair so that I can sit comfortably. The one I have is like the, the back is broken. So when I sit on it, it hurts my back. I'm not very comfortable there. I tried to stand in the sitting room to do the last video we did. You know, but all is well. Hello, Selena. God bless you. All is well in Jesus' name. <laughs> it's 24 hours, and I hope, I hope that uh, we are all a part of the 24 hours. Seriously, 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 seriously. We've been on it since 12 midnight. Seriously. I know that God has a plan for us. He has a plan for us. He has a plan for us. He has a plan for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are going to look at the life of another person, another person in the Bible that was afflicted. We, 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 we talked about the man that is sitting at a beautiful gate, but yet there was nothing beautiful about his life, his own life. Nothing. Nothing. So pray for me. I was suffering from stomach problem. What kind of stomach problem? What kind of stomach problem? Tell me, how is it doing you? Is it a moving object or... You are you're feeling like I don't know how in what how is the pain or the problem like right so we are gonna start now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We welcome you, we welcome you. And then we are gonna pray. I'm gonna start inviting you one on one and I'll pray for you. Probably maybe then I will have to stand up. Let me just sit a little bit. Maybe then I have to stand and see if I can put my phone on my cupboard. On my cupboard there. On my corner cupboard. Or do what do you call it? Whatever. We call it. You want to see the life of a man? Somebody type for me, please. Type for me. Enough is enough. The pain, the ache, the suffering is enough. It is enough. It is enough. It is enough. It is enough. Ha. Gatwick problem. Which one is Gatwick again? Gatwick is a city in London. <laughs> Son of Gomez. You say Gatwick problems. Which one is Gatwick problem? Now, I me, mean, I don't know Gatwick. I only know Gatwick as a town. I airport self. Prayer for the fruit of the womb. For direction in love, in life, enough is enough. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God will give Niki, Nikisha. God will give you direction. In the name of Jesus. Ah, that spirit of stagnancy is gone. In the name of Jesus. From today, your life will begin to yield fruit. And very good ones too. In the mighty name of Jesus. We want to look at the life or the story of a man. In the book of John 5. Type for me please. 
John 5 from verses, uh, let's say, 5, from John 5, start from verse 5. Enough is enough, oh. The pain and suffering is enough. The stagnancy, the delay is enough. It is enough in the name of Jesus. John chapter 5 from verses 5 to 15. From verses 5 to 15. From verses 5 to 15. Makadaboshin de kaladabosh. Rin de 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 bo sen de kaya da bashin de kaya. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. In our lives. In the lives of our children too. Enough is enough. In our job. Our finance. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. For those of you for the fruit of the womb. Inbox me. Send me a message because I need to find time. Seven days of prayer with you. We've done. I've done one set. Only one set I was able to do yet. And I intend because those ones said they, they have gone to their next level. They are now mothers in waiting. <laughs> they have prayed for seven days and their womb are open in Jesus' name. We are waiting for manifestation. And it will manifest. Whether the devil likes it or not, it's going to manifest. They will get pregnant and they will have their children. Verses 5 to 15, please. Matthew 5, 5 to 15. And I'm going to read. It says, And a certain man was there. Let me start for four so you understand. So the angel went down to a certain season into the pool. We're talking about the pool of Bethsaida. And in this pool is a kind of, uh, kind of, you know, there, there is a way the pool is. As in, it's not like a pool. You can just go straight away and jump inside it and get your deliverance and get your healing and get uh, whatever you are you want from god this pool people go into it at a specific time and in a, at a specific season it is a seasonal thing so which means whenever it gets close to the time when the time comes an angel comes and stirs up the water an angel will come okay gastic an angel, gastic. What does it mean? Like gas in your stomach or what? <laughs> the angel stirs up the water. And when he does, the first person that enters it, enters into the water, is the one that gets healed. Thank God for Jesus. Imagine us staying in a queue for water. For how long? For a period of time. It's not a place you just go, oh, the water, the angel is coming to the angel, says it. There are many multitudes of people waiting for that touch, waiting to be touched once they hear that an angel is coming. Ha! An angel of the Lord is coming to that water. Man, that... When they hear it, they pack themselves, everybody, to that place. They pack themselves, everybody, to that place. They pack themselves, everybody, to that place. That is what they do. And there is this man. Let's read. Let's read so you understand. And a certain man, say what I said was made whole of whatever disease. It doesn't matter whether your head was sewn to your leg or your leg was sewn to your back and you are limping. It doesn't matter the medical condition that they have us at that time. When this angel comes and they know the angels are so organized, they know the exact time to come. And the people also know when he comes, when the angels come. And so they go and wait for the angel to come. And there is this man. There is this particular man. And a certain man was there. He was there. And knew that he had been, and knew that he had been now a long time that that case he said unto himself what will thou be behold why will that be made whole will that will you be made whole do you desire to be made whole do you desire to be made whole god bless you brother collins do you desire to be made whole he says with you will thou so he has a choice he has a part to play in the process of his recovery are you why not why are you still here for 38 years a long 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 very long time for 30 whole eight years 
38 years. Yeah, I think it's 38 years. He has been there waiting for help, waiting for assistance, waiting for somebody to help him into the pool. But nobody cared about this man. Not even his own family. I can say that this man was abandoned. I can say that he was abandoned. Oh, Karanabashanda. He was abandoned by his loved ones, by his friends. Do you know when you are in crisis, when you are in problem, that is when you know who your true friends really are. Because they will stick to you through thick and thin. They will stick to you through everything. <laughs> they say, how many of them comes to your rescue? How many of them comes to say, oh, my friend, you need 200,000 to start a business. Don't worry, I will give you 50. Just 50 or 27. Okay, we place it with even this 10,000 naira or whatever your local currency. How many? No family member was there for this man. Do you mean to tell me this man is an orphan? He has no uncle. He has no auntie. He has no relative. It can't be. It can't be. And people just pass him, walk past him, give him arms. Walk past him, give him arms. Walk past him, give him arms. Walk past him, give him Walk past him, walk past him, walk past him. Everybody was just jumping into the, in, in, into the pool. They were all jumping. But this man has nobody to help him. This man had no one to help him. Is that how you are? Nobody wants to help you. But they want to collect, 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 collect. There are people like that, though. There are people like that. They are their own. Their own is to collect, 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 collect from you, collect from you. Their own is to collect from you, collect from you. But the day you don't give them, you become their enemy. They will forget all the ones that they have collected, though. They will forget the ones that you've helped them with. You for, they will forget the ones that you have done. Now it is that one. Uh, what did he do? Uh -huh. And so, is he the first person to do it? Uh -huh. So because he gave me 200,000 naira, he gave me whatever. So, uh -huh. so that is, should that be the end of the world? Uh -huh. And so what if he gave, bought me a car? So what? Uh -huh. Is he the first person to buy a car for somebody? They are not ready to help. But they want to collect. They want to be blessed. They want to collect from you. They want to collect from you. That's all they know. That is all they know. Just to collect. Take, 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 take. Take, 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 take. Collect, 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 collect. Collect, 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 collect. What do they give back to you? You want to tell me that in the whole of that city, in the whole of that city, there was nobody that can help him and put him there. Nobody cared enough to help him. Nobody cared enough to assist him. Nobody cared what he was going through. Nobody even bothered. It was none of their business. To them, it's business as usual. And for 30 whole, 38 whole years, this man was just there on the spot every day waiting for the angel waiting for them and then the angel comes does it before the man because of his condition before he could move somebody else have entered the pool before he could move somebody else has overtaken him before he could move someone else has taken over that is how he began to experience delay and stagnancy how many of you right now are expect are experiencing delay how many of you right now is experiencing stagnancy in your life, in your marriage, in your home? Hey, manda karalaba shede kala. Reba baba baba baba. How many of you have are, are, are so stagnant? Nothing seems to be working. Nothing seems to be working. Things seems to be falling apart. Very very much apart. Very very much apart. Things seems to be falling apart. Still seems to be falling apart. No marriage. The devil took your marriage. Marriage and divorced. Children or no children. Family members, you become a laughing stock. They begin to mock. Your life is just on the spot. Your life is just in a box. You know when they say your life is in a box? In a small box, not even a big one. Small box. Everything about your life is inside that box. And people begin to mock. People begin to laugh. How long have you been single? 
10 years now, you've been divorced, no husband. 10 years now, 20 years, 15 years, 25 years, no husband. Some say, no children. No children. And you are there. You are there. You are like almost giving up hope. Sometimes you begin to wonder, why is my own case like this? I am sure this man will be crying. I am sure this man was weeping. Why is my own case like this? He was there. So he said, so he was which had 30 and 8 years, which is 38 years. The Bible is confirming his age. Even, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Imagine somebody just staying on a spot for 38 years. 38 years of his life was just gone like that in the blink of an eye. 38 years of his life just gone like that. Just gone like that. Just like that. Just like that. Whose fault is it? An enemy. An enemy. They did not want him to heal. They did not want to help him. It is not everybody there in that place that was actually going into the world. Some came to brought their family. Some came, but nobody came with this man. That is how critical his condition was. How critical is your own condition? How critical is it? You are like, wow, God. Ha. Ah. How do I cope with this? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Look at this. Look at that, God. You are like almost giving up because of frustration. Some people say they are taking depression medicine. They are taking depression, antidepressant. You are drinking medication so that you don't get depressed. The devil wants to depress some people with the, their situation. Today, every demon of depression I will bind them and cast them to hell. In your lives, in the name of Jesus. In our lives, in the name of Jesus. In our children's life, in the name of Jesus. Ha. My God. Oh, 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 my God. This man, Jesus came to him. He says, when Jesus saw him lie, I knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He said unto him, Jesus came. Jesus saw him. Jesus knew how long the man has been in that situation. He knew, he knows how long you have been battling with that illness. He knows how long you have been battling depression. He knows how long you have been battling failure. He knows how long you have been battling rejection. He knows how long you've been battling depression. He knows how long you have been battling and battling and battling and battling. He knows. He knows it all. This man thought Jesus was like everyone else. He thought, oh, nobody cares about me. He thought nobody cares about me. He thought, oh, nobody cares about me. Oh, everybody's just walking past me. And they are, they are there in the pool. And I am still here. I am still here. And Jesus came. Jesus asked him one question. Will that be made whole? Will you be made whole? Uh -uh. Jesus knew that this man has been standing there. As long as you are just in that one position, as long as you are refusing to crawl or take a step of faith, how did, now I was wondering when I read that place, in that pool, that wasn't where he was. He, was. he moved, he walked himself to that pool of Bethesda. He walked himself into the, he got to that place and he took a pause. He took a pause. You know me? Maybe I will I will drag myself near that river. <laughs> In fact, some part of my leg will be inside the water waiting for the angel. When me, I sight the angel, I will not wait for him to turn the pool. I will first the angel, don't worry, just carry on. <laughs> I have waited 38 years. <laughs> hey, angel, just have mercy on me. I have been here 38 years. Nothing. No. So I then I will be the first person to be there. First guy not be tifo. What he be? <laughs> My guy love it. What he call me? <laughs> How long have you been waiting? How long have you been in that situation? How long have you been a laughing stock? How long? How long? How long? Jesus had to ask this man, "Will you be made whole?" Ah, that one is a question. 
How can you be made whole when you are not taking steps? How can you made whole, be made whole when you are not taking steps? The man has an excuse. Let us hear. He says, the, impo the, the important man answered him. Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another step head down before me. Why? Because he is slow. But while I am coming, another step head beside me. In that case, when before the next date that the angels will come, I will JJJ be ready. I will take myself very, very near. The brink. Before somebody will walk, me, I've put myself inside. Or better still self, just enter. They wait for the angel. Angel will question why. Angel, why? I will tell Angel why. There is always an excuse not to do what we need to do. There is always an excuse why. Oh, yeah, you need to take some actions. You need to be prayerful. You need to, you yourself, you know that you are under spiritual attack and you are sitting down folding your legs. <laughs> you are sitting down, cross your leg with your hands akimbo like nothing is going on. You know the kind of family you came out from. Ha, my own witchcraft. Witchcraft on my mother's side. They are all dead now. Maybe not just one or two remain. Killing my grandmother's children. Killed my mother's two first children. And they tried to kill me in my mother's womb. I said it before. They tried to kill me. They tied my mother's pregnancy. Because they wanted my mother to die with me in her womb. That is household wickedness that does not want to see anything good in your life. They will say, this one, we don't want this one to happen. This one, mm -mm, we, don't, uh -uh, we don't want this one to be happy. We don't want anything good to happen to this one. We don't want anything good to happen to that one. And they begin to fire, 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 fire. <laughs> household wickedness, enemies everywhere. Everywhere. And we are sitting and relaxing. Jesus was asking the man, will you ever be made whole? Will you? He was giving an excuse. Ah, you come and see these same people that need God. These same people that are in trouble. These same people that their lives are not moving forward. These same people that are under attack. That you see excuse. Ah, my house is too far from church. Before I will go, church will close. But your house is not too far when you want to go to party. Your house is not too far when you want to go to do something else. Your house is not too far when you want to do other things. Hey, excuse upon excuse upon excuse upon excuse. They are in trouble already. They know it. <laughs> Whenever we host a program like this, they know themselves that they are in trouble. But you need to take steps. You need to do what you need to do, which is for you to draw closer to God, which is for you to learn to read your Bible, which is for you to learn how to pray, which is for you to learn how to fast. Your big say, it, when you fast, I am hungry. In fact, my stomach has been rumbling. Do you know something that the day you fast is the day you get even more hungry? Don't you know it? Have you not noticed? The day you are not fasting. <laughs> the day you are not fasting you can stay from morning to evening you are just doing this and that and that before you know it you forget to eat but the day you are fasting from the very first day you start to fast <laughs> the, in fact one hour into the fast your belly be like say in fact my since after that prayer if you see the kind of hunger that i felt the hunger self i, I, I just said to me i'm hungry oh and then the Holy Ghost says, you are fasting. I say, it's true, I'm fasting. <laughs> How many of you experience that? How many of you experience that? Or is it only me? Is it only me that experience it? Is it only me? Because this is flesh. Now flesh. Even as I'm saying it now. Even as I'm saying it now, self, my stomach is reminding me that. <laughs> okay? Nothing there inside this belly. Oh, you are hungry. It is telling me, I say, yes, I am fasting. I will bear the hunger. I will sacrifice the hunger. I will sacrifice that food. And there you go. Oh, I can fast. Oh, I can fast to you f Oh, an elderly woman. A woman, you that has fire. <laughs> fire in your family. You that has wahala. You cannot fast. You are fasting to you f Like children. Six to two f is baby fast. Six or twelve now children, yes, zero to five years. These are their fast. Not you as an adult. Fasting big food. If you don't eat for seven days, you will not die. 
nothing will happen. You will only grow thin. You will still be alive. You hear some telling me, ah, I will fast at three o'clock. Three o'clock. I will fast. So, okay, I will do six to six. One of my son here was saying to me, ah, I can't do 12. I said, you can. No, told you, you cannot. You can. It is your mindset. Do you know something? It will come to a point now. Your stomach will block. You won't feel hungry anymore. You will not feel hungry anymore till you break. You won't feel hungry anymore. But this time, especially the earlier time, the devil wants to remind you you are fasting so that you go and test something or mistakenly eat or do something and break your fast. So we just say, mm. and that is when, do you know something else he does? He gives them headache. Some people, ah, as I was fasting, as I was fasting, ah, headache, headache. Ah, if you see the headache, eh? the headache was too much. I had to break oh, because I want to drink paracetamol. Demons in their lives don't want them to fast. They give them headache. They give them migraine. They make them so uncomfortable so that they go and eat. Ah, and they can't bear it. Bear it. You will not die if you do not eat for 24 hours. You will not die. Our three days fasting is coming soon in the next two weeks. In the next two weeks, good afternoon, Sister Sandra. In the next two, two weeks, our fasting is coming. Three days, one. This one not 24 hours. This one is three days. Three days of fasting. Yes, we can do it. We can do it. It's not, I don't know if I can do seven days anymore. When I was in Nigeria, that is how we roll. We ro rugged. Rugged fast. Seven. Me, on my own. Until when that demon of diabetes type 2 wanted to attack me. Me, I was still on my own in my own room. Three days is like, that one a piece of cake. Three days. What is three days? I said, at times, only me, I will take my bag and baggages. Go to church. I see that they lock me inside church. I tell them, lock me inside. Ha! Lock me inside. If my God did not meet with me in these three days. Ha <laughs> ha! In this situation. Ha! Hey! No way, oh. One day my pastor came and saw me. Say, woman, go home. God has heard your prayer. I say, Pastor, would you let me finish this thing in my heart? Say, but I have to obey. Say, do you, she he was the one that actually made me go before the three days finished. In the not just that was it's a while ago now. It's been like some years ago. I say, woman, go. The Lord says your your prayers are answered. I was the only one inside the church. Lock the door. Lock me inside. Hey, leave me and my God inside this church. Leave me and my God inside. I left my house. I left my husband. I left my children. Took myself to church. I said, God, ha, no. This can't be. This cannot be. I sit and I can stay in my own house. Even when I was in Nigeria, I would do my three days fasting dry. No water. It is now we drink water. So we need to hydrate. You can you can drink water if you want to drink water. If you don't want to drink water, it's a choice. But it makes no difference. Still the same. Fasting is to abstain. It's to stay away from what gives you pleasure. Food. Some people, eh, huh? if they see food, they'll be like, who see, who see, who see pounds? Who see money? What's the highest currency in the world? Who see correct? Hi, yeah, yeah. They can't resist. I can't resist. Maybe now that I'm fasting, maybe I'll walk downstairs. That is when my children will be frying and cooking. The scent will be coming upstairs. That is what he does. Distract you. So you go and eat. Don't do it. You need to eat the thing. You train yourself in it. The more you do it, the easier it, get, it gets. It doesn't mean that you don't feel hunger. I am feeling hungry now, but I bear it. I don't think about the hunger. <laughs> I think about what I hope to get. I hope to get, I hope to get, I think about what I am chasing. <laughs> ah, that parable in my, in my, in my, in my, in my country says, if what you are chasing, what you want to kill is not dead. You cannot put it, you cannot put it inside your bag now. What will happen? It go bite you. It go jump. It go jump. It has to die. Your flesh too has to die. Our flesh has to die. Yes, God is taking control. God has, Jesus himself asked this man, won't, will you be ever, will you, he had an excuse. Will you ever be made whole? Will you ever be made whole? Ah, Lord, you see, as I am here, eh, before we walk to that place, 
uh, somebody will jump in and you come back for 38 years you have not walked to the to the to the to the pool for 30 whole eight years you've been there so that means you just return back to your position think about it sometimes bible is 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 is, is not in full in some sections Sometimes it's like they edited some part because if they were to write it word by word by word, it would be as big as this room. Who, who will have time? In fact, when we look at this, we will get frustrated to even carry it and read. How will you even carry it? Yeah. So that means when the man go and somebody overtake him, say, oh, he gives up. And when he gives up, what does he do? He turns around and goes back to his previous position. If it is me, I won't go back. I will remain there till the next one. Another step further to the next one. Another step. Not going backwards. That means he kept going back. He kept going back. How many of you have gone back to your vomits? How many of you have gone back? Oh, I've tried it. It didn't work. And then you took yourself back. You give up. When God have not given up. Oh, I tried to do it all. And it did not work. And so uh, I had to. Why? Why? Oh, yes, there is enemy. There are enemies fighting against us. But you yourself, what are the steps you are taking? God expects us to take some steps. God expects us to pray. You are in a dilemma. You are in a crisis. You are in a situation. Don't just sit and say, mm, oh, okay. Oh. Uh -huh. You stand. You take your stand. Let the devil know that you are not taking this sitting down. Let him know that you understand what is happening. Let him know that you know where the arrow is coming from. Let him know that you know whom you are in Christ Jesus. Let him know that you know that he's the one that is putting you and your household under attack. And that you understand his tricks. He will run. He will run. But when he tries one, he says, you go, oh, oh. And then you, you relapse. You just go, you just fall back. You just fall back. Ah, the angel, <laughs> devil is clapping. <laughs> I caught, I got that one. I got that one. I got that one. No. Say no. Say no. No. The Bible says, even though I fall 70 times, seven times I will rise again. It does not matter. It does not matter. Oh, your first marriage, nothing happened. And so what? You give up? Oh, you were married, no children, and your marriage broke, and then you you give up. Oh, your job, this one, so and so and so on, and then you give up. No, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Tell the devil, I refuse to take this sitting down. Hey, listen, I know you. I refuse to take it sitting down. Jesus said to him, "We know how." Do will you? We all excuse, excuse. Get rid of that excuse. Ah, I can't fast though. Eh, eh, this one, that one. I have type two diabetes. Type two diabetes can fast. That was me years ago. When I developed type two diabetes, that was my own excuse to stop fasting. And the devil used that to steal my fasting life. I couldn't fast anymore. I couldn't fast. How can a Christian not fast? How can a Christian not fast? That is the trick of the devil. I have BP. I know people that have BP, they fast. When they are fasting, they do not take their medications. Oh, even the type 2 diabetes. It's not like a serious thing. When you don't eat, your sugar level will not go up like that. It is when you eat sugar that increases your, your sugar level. I've been through it all. Thank God today I'm delivered from diabetes. Thank God I am delivered from it. But I took steps. I took steps. I took steps. I took steps for that to happen. I began to take care of myself. I began to take care of my body. I changed my diet. I stopped eating all the sugar. Stopped drinking fizzy drinks. You are the one that has diabetes. It is the same you that will drink two liters of Coca-Cola. And you call it zero? Zero. It's zero. Zero. Who told you zero? Who told you it is zero? Before you take Coca-Cola, take your sugar level. After taking Coca-Cola, take your sugar level. Then you will see it will bounce. It will bounce. And they say no sugar. <laughs> Don't be deceived, my sweethearts. 
Master be deceived. Whatever a man says, he will reap. You take steps. What steps are you taking? What are you doing? Oh, you want to do this, you want to do that. What steps are you taking? You want to own a shop. What steps are you taking? Oh, I am, that's my uncle, that's my auntie. And they said they will give me 1 million naira. Or they will give me 2,000 uh, euro or pounds or dollars, whatever your currency is to start up this business. You are waiting for them. <laughs> One year, two years, three years. You are still waiting. No. Five years, you are still waiting. But before you know it, you have entered monopause. You can no longer do the business. God bless you, Mr. Fred. You can no longer do business. You can no longer do it. Hey, don't depend on anyone. You fight for yourself. Ha. Fight for yourself. I was telling one girl. I said, listen, you don't need millions to do business in Nigeria. If you have 20,000 naira, 30, 50, 100, you are good to go. Research. There are some small, small business, small scale you can do. A woman sold banana and trade two of her siblings in the university with banana money. And she can even boast of having her own hundred thousand naira. She can boast of paying school fees for other people. What are we talking about? What steps? God expects us to take steps for our own deliverance. He expects us. Yes, we are praying. We are praying. He expects us to take some steps. He expected this man to take some steps. Will you ever be made whole like this? Oh. Before this, before that, before that, before this, before that, excuse, excuse upon excuse upon excuse. We are so lazy. Why are you not reading your Bible? Eh, ah, by the time I just carried this Bible, eh, hmm. as I, as I, as I, before, I, as I wanted to read and I sleep, one thing would just come, you know, eh, eh. excuse, why don't you pray? Eh. I pray, oh, mm. it's just that when I pray, eh, mm, as I just say pray in Jesus' name, before I know it, eh, it's as if something just blow me breeze. Demons are blowing you breeze. <laughs> Stand up. Take step. If you are sitting down to pray and then you are falling asleep, stand up. Stand up and begin to move about, walk about. The sleep will disappear. See me, the sleep is gone now. Ha! Oh, you don't want people to you? Ah, no, no, no. We need to take our. We need to step into our special place. Ragaba shake the debos, can the debos. Raba ba 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 send the kaladabash. Oh, re ma 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 send the debos shanda ha. Oh, kaladabash the cool the debos send the kayaba. Ma send the debos she the kayaba. Re the ba ba ba. We are going to pray definitely. All those people, household wickedness, all those enemies that does not want to see anything good happen to you, that does not want to see you move forward, that does not want to see you do things, that does not want to see you, you know, progress in life. They have no choice. Though. They have no choice because we are made for signs and wonder. We are made to be great. We are created for greatness. Me, I am great. Me. My children, my family, my husband, we are all made to be great. We are made for greatness. We are created for greatness. I do not care what the enemy is doing. I don't care. All I know is that I and all that the Lord has given me, we are for signs and we are for wonder. So how come there is no signs, there is no wonder? How come nothing seems to be happening? How come we are still on the spot just Circling round and round and round and round and round. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. His grace has been made available for us. His grace has been made available for us. His grace is enough for us. Say to yourself, I am born to be great. I am born to rule. I am born to reign. I refuse to be, to be dominated. I refuse. I refuse. That is not the plan of God for us. That is not the will of God for us. Enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough.
enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Ha! Say it. Enough is enough. Makatatatata. Let it pose. No power can quench your star. No power can quench your life. No power can take your destiny. No power can take down your glory. If we let them, if we don't let them, the reason they succeed is because we gave them access to us through sin. Through sin. Sin is the only access they have to us. Sin is the only access they have to us. Sin. That is the only access. If we get rid of sin in our lives, that is all. That is all. That chapter, that road, that link is closed. Sin is the only thing that, 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 that gives them access. Enough is enough. Ah, this man was tired of his situation. 38 years of suffering. Ah, 38 years of pain. 38 years of sorrow. 30 years of, 38 years of neglect. This man was neglected. His family abandoned him. Who has neglected you? Who has abandoned you? Hey, they say you will not be anything good in life. Says who? Enough is enough. It's time you get angry in your spirit. And you begin to take your stand. And say, Lord, enough is enough. I have suffered enough. I have suffered enough. Lord, from today, I refuse more suffering. Enough is enough. I must be joyful in my marriage, in my job, in my business, in the lives of my children. Enough is enough. I can't take it anymore, Lord. No. Things must change. Power must change hand. Oh, power must change hand. And then God has mercy. He he, 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 he always has mercy. He loves us too much to let us suffer. He loves us too much to let us suffer. Enough is enough. You are the one that will take your stand and say enough is enough. Look at the man. 38 years. 38 years. No brother, no sister, no uncle, no relatives was there to lift him up and throw him in the pool. While the angels were turning, staring in the pool. Nobody was there for him. Nobody was there to help him. But when God hid him, everybody wanted to associate with him. Isn't that, I, 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 how do you speak, ironic? Hi! I don't speak one. Ironic. I stuck and way. Ironic. Eh. Isn't that ir ironic? Hey. I'm learning English. Yo. Holy Ghost is teaching me one one English. <laughs> He's bringing that one, 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 one. English not easy. <laughs> English is not easy, my man. Hey. Baba Shede. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Good morning, Sister Ty. God bless you. <laughs> English not easy, but we thank God for grace. <laughs> hey, Jesus. 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 Bashandarabas. Power must change hand in your life. In the name of Jesus. I saw your prayer request, Sister Sophia. I will pray for you. For the baby. That baby is coming. That's a miracle baby. They can do nothing. Hey. That child is a child of destiny. They can't do nothing. Ha. And Jimam gave his excuse. And Jesus said, okay. See, rise up. Take up your bed and walk. Simple. Hey, is it not? T rise up. Take up your bed and walk. See, and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and on the same day it was sabbath day the man was ready he's been waiting for his miracle for 38 years he's been waiting for his healing for 38 years he's been waiting for a change for 38 years how long have you been waiting for your own change how long have you been trusting god for your own change how long have you been believing god for your own change right now this is your time enough is enough if you are ready you are going to receive your change today it is all in your faith assuming when jesus told him okay rise up jesus did not lift him up he took the step. Oh, he said I should rise up. He stepped up. He stepped up in faith. He stepped up in faith. He stepped up in faith. Jesus only spoke the word. And he believed the word. And he acted on the word. We need to act on the word today. We need to act on the word today. Glory to you, Father. Glory to you, my King. Oh, my maker. Hey, Sabbath day, Sabbath. And the Jews therefore said unto that 
<laughs> and the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. Are you kidding me? Like seriously? This man has been there for 38 years. These same people did not care to help him. <laughs> these same people, these same people, they were not concerned about his welfare. These same people, they've been seeing him for 38 years, sitting by the pool. Oh, nobody said, oh, do you need any help? Do you want me to lift you to the pool when the angel comes? Nobody. But now his blessings came. Now his miracle came. Look at what they said. It is not lawful that you should carry your bed on the Sabbath day. So they, it is lawful for the man to be in torture. It is lawful for the man to be in pain. Do you see how human beings think? Do you see how they reason? Do you see how they reason? Oh, now something good has happened. Something good happened to you. They don't like that. They don't. They don't. They don't. Enemies of progress. They don't. They want to when you need sugar. You rag by rag by. You rag by rag by today. Can I have sugar? Hey, sugar. I'm coming. You know, so that, so that all your life, you will be, in, you will be indebted to them. And then you go. You come back. Rag by rag by. Get it. Can I have salt? Salt. Okay. They'll give you salt. That is how they want you to live your life. Begging. Begging for food. Begging for bread. That is how they want you to live your life. Living in pain and anguish. Suffering and disappointment. That is how they want you to live your life. But that is not the plan of God. Why would you carry? It is not lawful. Oh, it is lawful for the man to be suffering for 38 good years. Today, open your own mouth and pray for yourself. You turn this verse into a prayer for yourself. Anybody that does not want to see anything good in my life, anybody that does not want to see anything good happen to my life, anybody that does not want to see anything good happen in my life, whether they are my friends, whether they are my family, aunties, uncles, relatives, I do not care to know. Hey, but Father disappoints them. My Father disappoints them, disgrace them. Are you praying it? Are you praying it? Pray it now. Lord, anybody, man or woman. This one is physical. This one is not witchcraft. This one is not demon. This one is physical. There are still physical people, physical friends, colleagues, people, physical neighbors that does not want you to make it in life. There are people around you that wants to see you suffer out of jealousy. Uh -uh. Is it the only one? How come she's so lucky? How come he's so lucky? How come this? How come that? How come this? How come that? Why should she have only boys? Why should she have only girls? Why should she be the one, this one? Why should he be this one, that one? Ha! Human being. When the Bible says that the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked, the Bible already said it, that the heart of man, the heart of man, the heart of man is deceitful. It is deceitful and not just this, not just, uh, not just deceitful. It is the Bible, not just ordinary wicked, do desperately. Oh my god, ha, desperately. They don't want you to be happy in your marriage, they don't want you to have money, they don't want you to anything good to come your way. The heart of man is deceitful. And this is an example. Are you praying that prayer? Lord, whoever, my family member, anybody, relatives, far or near, anyone around me that does not want my life to move forward, that does not want me to be good, that does not want me to have enough, that is always wants me to become a beggar, begging for food. Lord, today disgrace them. Father, today disappoint them. Begin to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, disappoint them. Oh, God, disappoint them. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Father, disappoint them. By your fire with your fire, disappoint them. Oh, God, disgrace them. They said I will not have children for my husband. For what now? What is the essence of marriage? Hey, kalatatatatata. 
tatata. And then they are fighting my wombs. And then they are attacking my wombs. And then they are polluting my womb so that I will not get pregnant. Fire of God upon them in the name of Jesus. Right now begin to pray. You know your own situation. You know what you are going through. You know what you are facing. Lord, arise for me. Arise for me. Arise for me. Fight my battle. Lord, fight my battle. Oh God, fight my battles. Hey, sha -ta 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 -ta. if God should open our eyes and see all these battles, hey, my God, you will not sleep in the night. Hey, Kala -ta -ta -ta. I do not care. Even if it's my father, even if it's my mother, whether they are my brothers, even if it's my sisters, uncle, aunties, wherever, relatives, niece, nephews, I do not care. Friends. I don't care. I don't care. A sister that God, uh, God delivered yesterday. It is people in her community. This is a woman in America. In America. She got delivered yesterday. Yesterday evening. The demon inside of her came from her community. This one is not even a relative. And she loves this woman. She's taking care of this elderly woman. You know, jealousy she loved why because she loves her son too much and no reason for them to attack her and no reason for them to attack this woman because she loves her son and they attacked her son but god is setting that son free but god is god has already set her son free her own the demon inside was talking we came they came from the same place in the same neighborhood neighborhood demon <laughs> environmental demon neighborhood that is where that demon came from Father, fight my battle. Begin to pray. Pray it, pray it, pray it. Sin and unseen battles. Sin and unseen battles. The one I see, the one I don't see. Lord, arise for my sake. Oh God, arise for my marriage. Arise for my husband. Arise for my children. Arise for my family. Arise in my job. Arise in my finance. Break through, Jesus. Arise. Enough is enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I have had enough. Lord, enough is enough. Arise for me. Arise for me. Look at them, enemies of progress, Father. Lord, shut up every enemies of progress around me. Disgrace and expose them. Shut them up. Shut them up. Shut them up. Disgrace and expose them. Enemies of progress. They pretend. They pretend. They are running after you like Tolo Tolo. Pretending to be your friend. Whereas they are enemies. Enemies in disguise. They are wolves in sheep clothing. Trying to deceive you. Wolves in sheep clothing. Running after you. Running after you. They are there to get information. They are there to get your information. And you too. Because your mother don't close, you run to them. Hey, do you see? Hey, my husband did this. Do you see? Ah, my daughter is too brilliant. Too. Hey, hey, my son is this. My daughter is that. And then you open the door for them to attack you. Keep your mouth shut. It is not everybody you tell your story to. You need to pray first and be sure before you begin to open your mouth and talk. Mouth has landed many people in, 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 in problems. Mouth has landed many people where they are not supposed to see themselves. Mouth has opened doors for the enemies to attack because you are feeling like you have arrived. And you want them to see it. Ha, jealousy enter. Hey, hey, pray. That spirit of envy and jealousy is very deadly. The demon of envy, the demon of envy and jealousy, they are deadly. When they enter into somebody, until they have destroyed that person till the end, they will not go. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like you people are not catching it. You are not catching these revelations that the Holy Ghost is exposing to us. The spirit of envy and jealousy, they are deadly. <laughs> it is envy or jealousy that will cause a brother to actually send hired assassin to his own blood brother. Kill him. I don't care. I know he's my blood brother. Yeah, I know he's my sister. But kill him. Jealousy and envy, after it has done, it's done. That is when you say, hey, what did I do? Then it is too late. Envy, anger, these three things. Jealousy, envy, anger. <laughs> Without a cause, they get angry. Without a cause, they are angry. Jesus said it. Jesus said it. That they, they hated me without a cause. 
King Herod heard that a king would be born. What was the next thing? He plunged into action. He launched himself into action. He wanted to destroy baby Jesus. He wanted to destroy baby Jesus. He does not want him to rule. He began to have consultations. Hey, 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 la, 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 la. Begin to pray. Every powers, powers holding consultation, gathering together because of me, my case. <laughs> Every powers from my mother's house, from my father's house, from my environment, from wherever, from friends. I don't care where they are. <laughs> hey, boy, shada da 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 da. Rete kule de boy se de kaya da. Manda kaya te te rite ta ta le ta ya. Wherever they are gathered against you, God did not say they will not gather. He did not say they will not gather. He said, surely they will gather. But because their gathering is not of him, they will scatter. That is the word of God for us. Lord, wherever they have gathered, they are still gathering because of me, because of my case, because of my husband, because of my children. Let them begin to scatter according to your word. Scatter them and begin to drag. send them away all over like shafts. You can't kill them now. You can pray them to die. They won't die. Let me not deceive you. Die, die, die. How come you all the die that you've been praying for the past 20 years? How come they are still alive? They will not die. God did not give us the power to kill any witch, kill anybody. He himself, it is when they refuse to repent and they keep doing what they do. He himself knows what to do. He will kill them himself. That will be his choice. If they are planning to kill you, they will die in your place. Oh, yes. Send them to hell. That punishment. You know they hate it. They hate going to hell. Send them there. Let them stay there. Locate them by fire, by thunder, wherever they are. Locate them by fire, by thunder, wherever they are. Right now, Jesus. Mashete kurada basete kalada. Right now, Lord, locate them wherever they are. In their coven, which is coven, if they are witches. In the marine kingdom, wherever they gather. In the junctions. They are, you don't know there are kingdom in the junctions, forest. Some are there, they came from the trees. That's where those, where those masquerades come from. From the junctions, from the trees. From any, in the air, wherever demonic kingdom, wherever. I don't care. But as long as they are gathering... There is an evil gathering because of me, because of my children, because of my family. Fire of God begin to scatter them. In the name of Jesus, that gathering will not see have a headway. Scatter them with your fire. Scatter them. To, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Pour your fire. Pour your fire. Pour your fire upon them and send them to hell. Chase them to hell. Chase them to hell. Chase them to hell. In the name of Jesus. And destroy their plans against my life. Destroy Destroy their evil plans against my family. Destroy their evil plans against my marriage. Destroy their evil plans against my finance. Destroy their evil plans against my job. Destroy their evil plans against me, Lord. Now, in the name of Jesus. Enemies of progress all over the place. Then they, he said, the man now 11 says, he answered them. He that made me whole. The same said to me. Take up thy bed and walk. He's explaining to them. Ah, it's not my fault. Oh. It is the person that healed me that told me to take my bed and walk. So it's not my fault. They asked him. Then they then asked they him, What man is that who said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? You see, you see interrogation. You see interrogation. You see interrogation, inquiry. Begin to turn it to prayer points. So that's how they are. Hey, come on. Ah. That uh, that uh, woman, that uh, that uh, that uh, woman, that uh, so 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 person. Eh, eh, eh. Is it true that um, um, that uh, she was driven out of her husband's house? Is it true? That was say ah. Hmm. It's true. Ah, I heard this yesterday. Myself, I kukuma, I went there so that I will hear. I don't want anybody to tell me this story. I want to hear it with my own ears. Eh, hey, I thought they said they are too much. 
inquiries. Turn it to prayer point two. They are all over the place. They are making inquiries from you about you. And some are even making that inquiries in the demonic, demonic area. They go to a shrine. They go to juju priest. They go to voodoo priest. They take your picture. They take your money. They take something that belongs to you. And they take it to this voodoo priest, juju priest. And they begin to make inquiry about you. They begin to make inquiries about you. Uh -huh. That one after, uh, uh, no, 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 no. And they say, no, 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 no. Nothing good. Nothing good can happen to that one. You need to reverse it. They are taking your name somewhere. They are taking your pictures somewhere they are taking your 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 property even you will send especially we from africa if you are from africa you know what i am talking about you will send them money ha, somebody said to me since i sent money to my uncle from that day money does not stay in her hand anymore they have used that money for ritual <laughs> they have used her money for evil they have used our money for evil. Ha! Your money is there. Your pictures are there. Things that belong to you are there. Your clothes are there. They are using it to represent you. Some, they have made a statue. And they will go twist the head. Your head will start paining you in the physical. They will twist your leg. The leg of the statue there in the shrine. Your leg will start paining you. How come you just go to bed, wake up with some strange things you cannot explain? You went to bed hale and healthy. You woke up. With one severe migraine. You wake up with one terrible thing. Hey, you are going to pray. You are going to pray right now. Everything they have put in the shrines. Every demons making any one, any woman, any man, any woman, boy or girl. Young or old. Karata kalata. Young or old. Making inquiry because of me. Fight that wants to die. Inquiries to harm me. Inquiries that they want to use to hurt me. Inquiries to use to destroy my life. Hey! And they have taken my properties to that shrine. Father, release your thunder. Release your fire upon them right now. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray it. Begin to pray it. Whosoever, any shrine, any voodoo home, any juju priest, wherever they take my name to, the name of my husband, the names of my children, my job, my finance, my business. Hey, Kalata. Mandala boy, shede. He de boy, sete kaya. Render de boy, shede kalada ba. Matata. They have taken my property too. They have taken taken my my money too. They have taken my clothes too. They have taken my hair too. They have taken anything that belongs to me too. Right now, fire for evil to use it against me. To use it against my family. To use it against my children. Fire of God. Fire of God. Right now, descend on them. Right now, begin to burn them. Right now, begin to burn them. Right now, begin to burn them. Burn up everything they are using in the shrine. Burn up everything they are using in the voodoo house. Burn down, uh, burn down everything they are using in uh, whatever it was, the demonic kingdom that they are in any spiritual Burn it down in the name of Jesus. Burn it down in the name of Jesus. Burn it down in the name of Jesus. Father, burn it down. Lord, burn it down. Set them on fire. Set them on fire. My picture. If there is any of my picture in any shrine, let that picture catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire right now. 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 In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. 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 Mask and the boy shut her. Mask and the boy shut her. Fire. Mashandarabash. Mask and the boy shut her. Mask and the boy shut her. Mask and the colored boys can he. Ragabash and the kaya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire. 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 All over them, all over them, all over them. Fire in the name of Jesus. Burn them, Lord. Burn them, whatever they have used. Hmm. Whatever. Anything they are using. That statute. Fire. My money that they are taking, the fire. My clothes, my shoes, my personal belongings, fire. My your own money you give to them, fire. Your picture. Picture is a big one. Hey, you know how we like to send picture to them so that they will see that uh, that uh, ha ha so that they will see so that they will see how you know progressive we are and they get jealous they ask you ah they send you picture you send them that picture you pose very very well and then they think you have arrived abroad and they say hey, please can you send me uh, 
500 uh, euro pounds or dollars or whatever your currency and uh, i need the i say ah please so oh, things are hard though i will try but not now uh, in their head they say mm -hmm. Mm, mm, okay oh see all the fine fine picture he's sending home look at how beautiful he is or she is she wants to tell me she doesn't have ordinary they will call it ordinary ordinary 200 uh, euro or 200 pounds uh, as if they are the one that work the money for you as if they are the one that is helping you go go clocking clocking and clock clock a clock <laughs> that is helping you to clock in and clock out in your place of work eh, eh, okay you will see once they do that thing you will see Ha, ya, ya. You begin to receive series of attack because you did not send them money. Fire, begin to release fire on them. Fire all over them. Father, pour your fire upon them. Pour your fire upon them. Pour your fire upon them. In the name of Jesus. Enemies of progress. Ah, they are getting it too hot. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Don't worry, we are finishing now. And I'm going to start inviting you, but at least we have to pray for everybody. Hmm. In the name of Jesus. Is that man who he has said? Verse says, and he and he that was hid wist not who it was for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that in that place. Jesus did not tell him who he was. The man just knew that one man healed him. The man did not know who he, the man did not know. Who healed him? And Jesus, as at that time, has not revealed himself to the man. So the man was saying, it is that man that said, pick up your cross, that he, he went. And the man, I said, now. So the man did not even listen to them. He just went, took his things, and continued on his journey. It says, 40 says, afterward, Jesus finds him in the temple and asks him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more. Lest a worse thing come unto you. Look at what Jesus said. Look at this advice. Look at the advice that Jesus gave the man. Look at the advice. When we tell you these things, it is scriptural. Whatever we tell you is scriptural. Whatever we talk about sin, 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 it is scriptural. Look at it. Jesus said to him, when did Jesus found the man in the temple? Later, later, the man went to the temple. And he said, behold... Jesus not said, went to him and said unto the man, Behold, you, thou art... Excuse me. <coughs> okay, oh, things are happening. Look at the advice Jesus advised this man. Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more. <laughs> now you have been cleansed. Now you have been washed. Now you have been forgiven. But... Do not commit any other sin. Sin no more. It says, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Hey! Do we understand? Do you understand? We are not selling anything. No sin, not selling. Do we understand? You got delivered. Oh, any woman of God or man of God prayed for you. And you got your deliverance. <laughs> you got your deliverance. What is expected of you is to go get yourself rooted in Christ. <laughs> is to go and begin to read your Bible. Is to go and draw near to him so that he will draw near to you. Is to go deeper in the word of God, in the things of God. You start going to church. You begin to do things God's own way. You are free and your deliverance will be permanent. Look at what Jesus said. If thou, you say, if you commit sin, less. Say, hey, a worse thing come unto you, which means that one that left will be very small. So it is not only with demons even. It means even when you get your healing, when you get healed, when you get healed, you need to stay rooted in Christ. You need to be reading your Bible. You need to be prayerful. You need to be fellowshipping with the saints of God. You need to continue on anywhere, church or platform, that you got delivered. And continue to follow their videos. Continue to follow them because you begin to receive more power. You begin to receive more strength. You begin to receive more strength. You begin to receive more strength. You begin to grow. You begin to listen to messages that will transform your life. 
the demon don't like me yesterday. He said because since the woman started watching us, started coming on this platform, ha, that she began to grow more. 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 That is what happens when you connect. Yes, you go to your church. You also connect here. Because sometimes you are even tired to pray. And we are here like almost every day. You will surely receive a word. That is what the devil wants for you to be shifted off. When you are shifted, then he can come in. He will return that sickness back. Or even more. Or maybe he will leave that one and bring the one that is even worse than that. He will not leave you alone. Because that is what he does. That is what he does. That is his, his job description. Jesus was advising this man. You too, I'm advising you with the same word. Maybe let's, should we read it in another version? Or is it clear? Do you guys understand? It is very easy. I know this is King James, but it's easy too. Say, behold, thou art made whole now. Now, listen, you man, listen. Now you have been made whole. You have been cleansed. You have been forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. You've been purified. You've been sanctified. Yes. Sin no more. That's an advice. Don't commit any sin. Don't tell lies. No white lie. No pink lie. Oh, even when you mistakenly realize you fall into sin, don't wait to get home to pray. What if you die on the way home? Don't wait to get home before you pray. Some of you are in the habit of crying only in the closet, in the closet. It is not only in the closet, you closet you pray. You pray on the street. You pray at your work. You pray in the bathroom. You pray everywhere. Why did God say pray without ceasing? As you are driving, you are praying. As you are walking, you are praying. As you are doing whatever chores, you are praying. You are praying. <clears throat> sin no more. If you commit sin, you are on your own. But don't come back to us, you that God delivered, and say, ah, eh, after the deliver, eh, two months after the deliver, eh, deliverance, eh, you know, eh, I committed one sin. And then now, eh, I think I, I think I know one was left, left that time, but now I think I had, they are like three now. They have increased. Don't come without a... Because all the energy we used to cast out the first demon, we don't have to repeat. Re, we don't have to be repeating casting, casting demon. And then when we finish that one again, you will stop. You will walk away. You will walk away from the platform. Some of you are just floating. Even money have floated, collected their miracle, collected their deliverance. They floated away. I don't mind that we pray. If you like float, I am just doing the work of my father. But don't come back six months later. Ah, woman of God, do, ah, since I had that dream, eh, after, after one year, after six months, everything was good. Eh? And suddenly, oh, I don't even know what happened, though. Ah, they just came back, you know, now. Ah, that spirit husband is back again, oh. Eh, eh, ah, you gave him the chance to come back. Whether through lust or through whatever. They are very smart. It's your fault. God has done his work. But you did not maintain your deliverance. You did not even maintain your, your, your healing. Even most of you, you do not even seal. You don't know you need to seal things in the spiritual realm. When God does something for you, you bring your money, you seal it. And then it is sealed in the spiritual it is sealed in the spirit. I don't like talking about money. If not because that we have things to do, projects to do, programs to do in Europe and in Africa. Ha ha. You call your deliverance. Don't just go empty handed. You just collect. You walk away. Ha. It doesn't always help. That is the truth. It doesn't always help. It's not just about me. Wherever you go and God uses a pastor, a woman of God or man of God to deliver you. And you yourself, you knew that something happened to you. You feel the presence. You know that this thing is genuine. This man, this woman is genuine. Don't just go empty handed. I told you guys the story of that sister that they were taking her money from her account, demons, when she gets her deliverance. I mean, when she got, gets her salary. I am not saying it because I need your money, because God will always provide for his job. God will provide. If you refuse, didn't you see it? He will always send. He will always send. He will always send. He knows how to do his things if he is involved. But when you give your money, you are helping yourself. The devil don't even want you to give your mini money to ministry, good ministry, honest and sincere ministries. You know why? Because your money will win souls for the kingdom of God and they don't want that. When we host this program now, people, even if it's one person that give their life to Christ, heaven will rejoice. It is worth it. 
If it is two people, heaven will rejoice. Rejoice. It is what it. You just go like that, empty-handed. That sister there is how. Then she went. I put her place down fasting. She finished her fasting. At the end, we prayed on the account. Prayed on the account. And from that same account, the Lord instructed her to sow seed to the program we are having in Africa. To the, to the conference that we are having in Nigeria. She sowed. My own God did not tell her any specific amount. She by herself. Holy Ghost we speak, spoke to her how much to sow. Towards the conference. A workman is worthy of pay. That is true. But people don't want to hear that when it comes to money. It's true. It, that is how it is supposed to be. But people don't understand that when you give, you are blessing your own self. You are blessing your own self. From that day, the demon could not go into her account anymore because after she fasted, we prayed. We saved the account. And then she stopped it up. She seeded it with her finance from that same account. And that was the last they were able to take money from her account. And so they found another means they went through her, her office because they couldn't go directly to the account anymore to collect her money. So they were not, they went to go shut her out hours through her office. An officer they don't know, they don't know. But the day she got delivered, that very week, her 20 hours that they took, they returned it. She has collected her check and maybe she has even spent it. <laughs> she has finished swallowing it. When they are when you are being told all these things, it is for your own good. It is for your own good. God does something for you. Sometimes it is not. The, I'll keep saying it. God, it is the size of your heart and the size of your obedience. And then God sees your heart. He knows you won't deceive him. He knows you will not lie. Not that you have like 10,000, 20,000 in your account. And then you want to come and give God $10. I say, thank you for your deliverance. You give him $10. You have 20. He sees you. He knows it. He will reject it. But when you have like $10, and then you come, you say, Lord, I only have $10, but I want to give you $1 or $2. God will honor it. God will honor it. You seal your miracle. You seal your blessings. You seal your testimonies. Don't you see people when some men of God are preaching on the pulpit, the people that understand the principle of giving, why the man is preaching or praying concerning something that, re, that that concerns them. You see them take something in their hand. They go and drop it on the apostles' feet. Nobody tells them to. They have understood that principle. They have understood that principle. Watch some videos. You will see them during church services. While the man of God or woman of God is preaching. And the message is like this message is touching some of you now. You guys, some of you, I can see your comments. You are saying this message is heavy. It's true. It's touching your life. It's touching them like that when the man of God or woman of God is preaching. What they do is, as the man is even still preaching, they will take, have you not seen it? They will just go, they go and drop something. Why? Because they are keying themselves into it. That is how you key yourself into miracles and blessings. But we don't, we don't understand. You are not married. And somebody is doing a marriage seminar. Maybe, maybe me and my husband, we are not praying for married people, for your, for marriages, for those of you that are unmarried. And we are praying, we are praying, we are interceding. And we are saying things that is touching your situation. The way to claim is to, is to connect. To connect. As you are connecting in your prayer, you seal it up. Lord, I seal this thing with this. I seal this thing. You sow into those people. You sow into such marriage. I have a good marriage, 25 years. We are going to be 25 years together, me and my husband. We've known each other for 29 years. We've known each other for 29 years. We've been living together as man and wife in August. This August will be 25 whole years. Silver Jubilee in marriage. Some of you are looking at me and you are wondering, am I up to 25 years myself? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 25 years of marriage. If I am you, I will get ready. <laughs> To invest, to sow and seal and use it to connect to me, my own self. Your marriage is like that. Your marriage is shaking. Uh-huh. This is how you connect to this kind of blessings that you desire. My marriage is peaceful. My marriage is happy. I am, I am enjoying my marriage. You know, it's not because I am on Facebook or because I want to feel good. I am telling you the truth. There is joy. There is love in my marriage. My husband don't joke with me, oh, that man. Nah, don't try him with me. He, don't, he, he will play with you with anything. <laughs> not with me. He will not joke with his wife and his children. When you see things and like that, you see, you key yourself, you that is trusting God for your own. 
You that is trusting God for your own, you key yourself into it. You sow into it and claim your own in faith. <laughs> Before you know it, your marriage that is in trouble begins to turn around. Your life that is in turmoil begins to turn around. You will not even understand how or how. You tap. You tap with prayer. Then you tap with your seed. That is how it works. It is a spiritual thing. It is a spiritual thing. You tap into it. You tap into your healing. You eat your seed. Bring something. Bring it and tap. I don't talk about it. Yes. But I need to talk about it so that you will learn. So that you will learn. So that you will be blessed. So that you will be blessed. It is the truth. Any genuine man of God will tell you what I'm telling you now. But those ones that are... Uh, uh, here to destroy the kingdom of God and the work of God, they will discourage you. And that is the people many people want because it is money. They don't want to spend their money. But you are the one that will be losing because every day you'll be praying. Pray for me for financial breakthrough. Pray for me for this. Pray for me for that. Some things don't go with ordinary prayer. You need to sow into it. In the name of Jesus. That is how it works in the spiritual realm. It is a principle. It has been there. And it will continue to be there. It has been there. That is why people that understand kingdom principle, they don't lack. <laughs> they do not lack. They do not lack. Because they sow. Me talking to you, I sow. When I see something good, I sow. I sow, I sow, and I sow. Because I want it to. I want it to, uh-huh. I'm not joking. I am not joking. When I see a woman of God, man of God, my pastor, anybody self, I give. I'm a giver. I help people a lot. I don't like to see people around me crying. I don't like to see people around me suffering. I give. I help out. I sow. I am investing. It is kingdom business. It is kingdom business. That is how it works. You just can't collect ground. You run. Before we know it, you disappear. We won't see you for two months. When hand on the meet you, you remember, Ew, that woman is a genuine woman. That man is a genuine man. And then you are coming back. Ha. Appreciate God for what is done. When you appreciate him, he does more. And in a, that, what do you think, like, when God does something for me? I can never go do thanksgiving with empty hand. I am coming to thank God for what he did. I will just carry only myself. God, ah, God forbid. <laughs> I will drop my seed in that church. I will drop something. I will look what is lacking. I will drop. Thanksgiving, I told you the ones we did in Nigeria. We bought them 10 because they needed all the silly fans for the church. We bought all. All the silly fans. Where we do our conference this year. We bought all. Each time, since all these years coming, since we got married, me and my husband, whenever we are doing Thanksgiving, we must deposit something in the church or deposit something, something, not quite well, something that will touch. Very big mistake. Not to. You need to learn spiritual principle. It works like mad. You are asking for financial breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. You are the same one that will not pay your tithe. The same one will not support the work of God. The same one you will not see. We see somebody that is in need of five, five, five pounds, five dollars hungry. And you have more than that. You will not bless that person. And you are waiting for financial breakthrough. That is the way to your financial breakthrough. That is the way to your financial breakthrough. Helping those in need around you. In your community, in your church, in your work, you see people that are in need of something. Even if somebody will send you, oh, where are you going? Maybe your colleague say, oh, can you get me a bottle of Coke? One, one, one dollar, one euro, one pound, whatever. And you give the Coke, you collect your one pound. What is that? Collect five dollar. What is that? Oh, oh, don't worry about it. It's okay. You've sown in the life of that person. She will not one day, one day like this, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. That person will go on a holiday and she will buy you something nice you don't expect because of that one thing you did in the past. Because of that one thing. Some people can be so ungrateful and they lose their blessings. Why am I going in this direction, Holy Ghost? 
Some people can be so ungrateful and they lose their blessings. Let me give you an example. When I started going to Nigeria, when we went, there was this driver that, got, that was connected to us, so he would pick us from the airport. And all the time we were there in Lagos, we would use him. We would bless him. And then we became attached to him. And then he came to me and said, oh, his wife, his wife wasn't doing anything. I said, because here I have a shop. I had a boutique there. I said, okay, let me help them. I used my money to ship my goods to them. I sent her goods. I said, sell it. This is the wholesale price. Sell it on credit. On credit. On credit. And I gave it to her. I, I, I told you that I like to help people. I'm not joking. It's just that I'm not just saying them. I'm not just, then I've not started my ministry. Yes, I'm in ministry in the church, but I've not started Facebook preaching. You know, and the summa they sold. Do you know they sold the clothes? She sold them, supplied them. Do you know people paid? They paid some of the money. Till today, that man is owing me 100 and something thousand naira. He refused to pay. The money that people paid, the wife. The wife gave it to the husband to go and put in the bank because I said they pay in the bank. The husband spent the money. He did not pay me my money till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. He did not pay me the money. And he got that bad that now I don't use him anymore. He began to run. Now I got another driver. This second driver now. And that is the first one now. He's gone. The second driver. You see greed there. Eh? It's not good to be greedy and to be ungrateful. Because you lose blessings. You lose blessings. Even the same with God. God blesses you. You cannot appreciate him. You cannot thank him. You, it's just like you when you do, assuming you just went and then you bought your phone, your son or your daughter, iPhone 8, brand new. Let me ask you. And then you just came, hey, with joy and excitement. Hey, do you know what I got it today? Here, take it. The son, your son or daughter just take it and begin to walk away. What will you do as a parent? Will you be quiet and you just let him walk away like that without a thank you? What will you do? You say, come back here. Come back here. Can I have my phone? Me, I will say, can I have my phone back? Say, why? Why? Because you did not appreciate it. You did not appreciate it. I gave you a phone that is worth this much. Ordinary thank you, mom. Or thank you, dad. Uh -uh. You just took it as if it's your entitlement or your right and you start to walk. You understand? Even sometimes I see if you give their children smart and say, what do you say? You say, thank you. That is how life should be. Appreciate people that God has put around you. Appreciate people that has been here. Since yesterday, I have slept for, slept for only two hours and a few minutes. And so has some of us. Two hours is all I've slept since yesterday. I am here. I was supposed to take my son to church. My son was going to church. He wasn't happy going on the bus. He's 13. Going on 14. But I made him go on the bus to church. He knows the way to church. You understand? But I was not settled. I had to end the video to go monitor to see if he got to church. <laughs> he's, he's got to church. You understand? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Sacrifice for you. For the kingdom of God. Talking. My son needed me this morning. But I wasn't there for him. I was doing the work of my father at the expense of my son. I've called him and I've told him I love him. When he come, I'm going to give him a big hug for that. Are you getting me? So, with all the sacrifices, the second driver I got, this one this year, when I knew that driver, that driver will be charging me, charging me. Eh? <laughs> then no problem, I pay. And I bless him, I bless his wife. I bless him, I bless his wife. And as I was going home this year for the conference, he was the one that came to pick us in the airport. I specific, I bought him a brand new phone. He's a driver. He's not my family member. He's not even a Christian. He's a Muslim. He's a Muslim. It doesn't mean that because he's a Muslim, I will not bless him. No, because I want to bless him. I like blessing people. He's a Muslim. He's not a Christian. But he's my driver. And I like people around me to be smiling and happy. I don't like you around me and your face is like that. I hate it. I don't like it. I like you to be joyful. Because I am always joyful. I want people around me to be happy. As I was going, I bought him a brand new, not second-hand phone, brand new phone. Clothes, uh, snacks, like biscuits and all of these things I took. 
what else? And other things, small, small things I bought. I gave him a, I gave him a big rubber bag. So when I got, he picked us from the airport. Then the next day, as I was distributing the things there, I got, I always see if I go downstairs and show you what I'm cargo, what I want to cargo. Now I have lots of bags to cargo. Lots of bags to cargo now to Nigeria for, for just to give out. And this man, he took me out. He overcharged me. I paid. I did not complain. I paid him his money. I told him, but you're overcharging me. Ah, mama, you know. I said, no problem. Take your money. That notwithstanding, this man, I gave him a big bag with that brand new phone inside. Rubber bag or clothes inside. And all that, you know, small, small things inside. Then for his children, two biscuits and all of these things inside a big bag. And so he came to pick us that day. As we were going, I just gave him the bag. He just took it. Thank you, ma. As if like, he, he did not open it. He just said, thank you, ma. I put it under his seat. I'm like, okay. The way he even said the thank you, like, it's my entitlement kind of thank you. No proper appreciation. I know that is it doesn't matter. But sometimes, so he put it under his, his, his chair. We came back. This man was still overbilling, overcharging me. Despite everything I'll be doing for him. Sometimes I will send his wife, like last year, I sent his wife on errand. I will give her transport and I will put extra because if you do anything for me, I will not just give you transport. I will bless you. <laughs> I will bless you. I must give you extra something for your pockets. That is how me, I do my own things. And at this, upon that, oh, upon that, oh, the man still they overcharge me. <laughs> already me, I was like feeling somehow. I'm like, okay, oh, this man. So I was already getting fed up with his kind of attitude. He would just be there serious. I will make him laugh. You where I eat is where he will eat. Any restaurant I enter to eat, I will tell him, buy food. Him, all of them, whatever, eat whatever you want to eat. In fact, I will be running after them. Are you sure you okay? You want more? You want more? Eat as much as you want. I will pay. Don't worry. I'm okay, ma. I'm okay, ma. They will eat. This same man, at the end of the day, he will overcharge me. Okay. And then, <laughs> the next day, he was supposed to take us somewhere. I was waiting, waiting for like almost four hours, three, two hours. I didn't hear from him. Three hours. I didn't hear from him. I was sitting in the hotel waiting for him to come. I, I couldn't wait anymore. I was running late. I was patiently waiting, 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 waiting. I called him. I know I test. I sent him a test. Ah, I sent you a test message. There was no test message on my phone. And the man kept waiting, waiting, said, uh, I let uh, I had to go to the hotel people and ask them, please, can you get me a taxi? That is how they called my current taxi driver now. He's my now. The man is always calling me that my taxi driver. The new one now. This is another one. So the hotel now called another taxi driver for me. His name is Joseph. But the moment that man came like that, he was so joyful. He was just happy. I took an interest in him, you know. And then we, he, where, he, where that guy would charge me like 20000 This man charged me. He said uh, 10000 And then he went, is it too much? Okay, give me 6000 I'm like, oh. in my heart, I'm like, wow. You understand that kind of a thing? And then he took us there. <laughs> he said, okay, for the other day. The man, me, not my shot. Even if you charge me $1, $1,000, one, $1, me, I will double or triple it. I will never give you your amount. I will always put extra. So this guy took us to the first place like that. Uh, he was going and I, my husband said, have you eaten? Uh, no, sir. My husband went, gave him money to go eat. He went to go and eat. I think he took us to site. And then he went to go and eat our site. He went to go and eat. And then he came back. He was with us. He was just looking. So at the end of the day, he brought us back to the hotel. And then how much is your money? He told us. I gave him double. <sighs> The man said, hey, hey, I became mommy immediately. Ah, mommy, ah, don't call any other taxi driver. Don't call any, it is me. Come and call me. Yeah, we come. I said, okay, pick us in the morning at uh, uh, six o'clock. If you want me five o'clock, I'll be here. Five o'clock, I will pick you. That is what I like, what I want to see. Since then, although like I did not plan to give him anything, but I blessed him. And we got him like from the things I brought. I saw shared clothes that would fit suit him. And I took an interest. He's a widower. This man is a widower. Yes. This man is a widower. He's got some uh, five children. Some of them are married. He's struggling and all of that. 
But this man, I said, even when he, he got to the point that, you know, when you want to kill me personally, <laughs> if you want to kill me, finish me, you are finished me because when I ask you how much, tell me, give me anything you like. Kai, I hate when you do that. I hate when they do that. This guy, he took us to the park. We were traveling to Bini for the Bini conference. And then I asked him how much. He <laughs> said, mom, anything you have. <laughs> I said, this mad off. <laughs> anything you have. Ah, when he said anything you have, that one is finished. You finish me with that. <laughs> because when I look at what I want to give you, in my head, my spirit to say it's too small. I know this thing, the charge will be this, this, this kind of amount. Yes, somebody that I say, Mama, he said, This one, I've not even given him the clothes. Oh, this time I have not given him clothes. This time I only like kind of paid him extra for taking us the day before and then the second time he's taking us he's telling me ah he said no just give us anything i have for the second time and that motivated me you know when i was coming back from Benin, i did not share the the clothes i brought something back for him i brought something back for him and when we gave him the clothes my god my god see how this man was jubilating he said he used one comment said I thought my father was dead. Now I have another father. I'm like, eh? who is your father? So, ah, is daddy now? Referring to my husband. When my husband handed him, handed him the bag. We were going, I can see that he was hungry. Because he was taking us somewhere. Appreciation gives you more. You see. And so, um, the, when we came back from the conference from Benin. Now I started using him. I called him to pick us up. He came to pick us up. I was going to my sister's place in Lagos. I could see that he was hungry. He was just eating bread and coke. He eating bread and coke. As we were going, I said, I bought corn. I when I buy corn and a coconut, I put it down. I said, driver, eat oh. Driver will be eating like he's the one that bought the corn. <laughs> driver was eating the corn like there's no tomorrow. Me, I ate one, I'm okay. Two, I'm okay. Driver, I said, eat, eat, finish it. As we are going again, I bought driver bread, full loaf of bread, because I see the man is hungry. I bought him full loaf of bread and a uh, drink. Ha! Driver ate. In fact, you can't stay. I can't bear it that somebody is with me and you are hungry. Since I came back, driver will be calling me. And this is the same driver that God is leading me to bless. This I want to bless him big time. You know that one I did, I did not prepare like to go. I want to buy him a mobile phone like that. I want to buy him a brand new phone. I want to send him buy him, him and his little daughter and his mother. I want to bless them. You will see, he's going to, I will show when I go to Nigeria, when we travel for the conference, he's still going to be my driver. Now I call him every now and again. I call him. He's my driver. I call him. No, he's dry. He, he, not, not that he's my, he, my personal driver. He works as a driver. We use him and his car. We use him and he will use his taxi to take us around. Eh? That man, is, see if I show you my phone, you see his miss call. I saw his miss call last week. He called me. He's calling me because he get, you know how to touch people. Appreciation. It matters. Now he doesn't even know what is coming to him. Because I don't know, I might give him blessing with 50,000 naira or 100,000 naira plus food stuff. Even the daughter, I'm stylish. I'm going to ask him how old his daughter is, the little one. He's a widower, and I have a thing for widows and widower. I have a soft spot for widows and widower. He's a widower. And God wants us to take care of these widowers and widows. And you know, my ministry is about widows, helping the poor, helping the needy. So I want to help him too. I want to bless him too. He doesn't even know these things are waiting for him because of appreciation. The other guy, I didn't bother about him anymore because nothing. He doesn't, he doesn't value anything. That is God for you. When God uh, healed the ten leper in the Bible, only one came back to thank him. Jesus asked, are there no ten lepers healed? Where is the nine? Only one came. Now look at this. Jesus said the nine they were healed, but they were not made whole. But that one that came back was healed and he was made whole. He was made whole. Which means that sickness can never in his lifetime come back again. But those people that were healed, the sickness can come back. God will let them, God, it might. I mean, God have mercy on them. God wants you to appreciate him when he does something good for you. He wants you to thank him when he does something good for you. And the way he wants you to do that, appreciate him by blessing his work. Bless the work of God. Bless if you are in a, on a, belong to a platform where you can see the work of God happening. Bless it. Bless. 
You are following people, spending time. Look at me now, hours now I'm talking, 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 talking with my strength, energy. You are on the receiving side sitting there. You are not the one talking. I am the one talking. My throat, I can feel the pressure. I am the one God will use to pray for you. You got delivered. Does it say somebody's posted something? Do we, we that work here, we are supposed to eat from here. It's true. But me, I am not even saying that. But bless the ministry so that we can go do our programs in Europe and in Africa. Be a blessing. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. You are where you are receiving the truth. You are being strengthened. Your faith is growing. Your, 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 you, you are getting stronger and stronger in the Lord. Plant your seed. Whatever you are sowing is a seed you are planting. You will reap it. You will reap it. And there are some of you that are really blessing. And sowing into all the oncoming conference um, program program in in europe and god will bless you makata lete kasenteria thank you jesus oh when god does something for you appreciate him he loves it when we appreciate him and when god heals you delivers you does anything for you don't just go back to the world and begin to sin because that sin will bring those things back even worse Give him total, totally. Give yourself total to God completely. Enough is enough. It starts with you. It starts with me. Ah, Rababo Shelekaya. Open your mouth now and begin to cry out to God. How many are those people that need prayer? Are they gone? If they are gone now, now we can just go and I will go and sleep. I will go and sleep a little. <laughs> Mask Kennedy, if you are still here, you want me to pray, you want pray for you one on one. I know there were some people earlier on. There were some people earlier on. You know, when it comes to the issue of money, when there is no space for, for when it's um when you start to talk about giving, 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 they don't like it. That is when you see them jumping out. They are leaving. Assuming we are it's deliverance we are doing now, you see all of them oh. You see all of them 40. Enough is enough. Begin to say to yourself, enough is enough. My time to shine is now. My time to reign is now. Everything that the enemy has stolen from my life, my marriage, my peace, my joy, my husband, my children, whatever they have, they have. Whatever they have taken from my life, whatever they have taken from my life, Father, restore them back now. Enough is enough. I reclaim. Begin to reclaim. Begin to reclaim. Begin to reclaim. Begin to reclaim every single thing. Every single thing. Whatever it is that they took from you. Whatever it is that they took from you. Whatever it is that they took from you. Say, Lord, I claim it back. Oh, God, 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 I claim it back. Lord, I claim it back. Father God, I claim it back. In the name of Jesus, enough is enough. My star must shine. Begin to pray it. Oh, God, my star must shine. Oh God, my star must shine. Oh God, my star must shine. Lord, my star must shine. Complete to uh, restoration. Total restoration. Ha, ah, Lord, I am stepping into my blessings. I am stepping into my miracles. I am stepping into my testimony. Oh God, my Father, I am stepping into them. I am stepping into them. Restore, restore, restoration, Lord. Restoration, Lord. My star must shine. My time to shine is now. Hey, Makatata. Hey, Makatata. Irendebo shide kaya. Le bragaba sende kalada bo shendehe. Maskende ridebo sendehe. Rende kalada bo shende kaya. Manda kaya rabo sendehe. Lord, my star must shine. My star must shine. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I am stepping out. 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 I am stepping in. I am stepping into my testimony. I am stepping into my miracle. I am stepping into my blessings. I am stepping into my freedom. I am stepping into it right now. In the name of Jesus. Ha, ah, Lord, I receive it. Lord, I claim 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 it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it all. I receive it all. I receive it all in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Oh, God, we worship you. 
Oh God, we worship you. Begin to appreciate him. Say, Lord, I thank you. Daddy God, I thank you. My Father God, I thank you. Let your name be praised, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Get your water ready. Everybody get your bottles of water. Or a cup of water. Anyone. Get your bottles or cups of water ready. Get your bottles or cup of water ready. If you have not shared this video, please share it and be a blessing to others. Share it and be a blessing to others. Share it and be a blessing to others. This is the last day of the month. Wow. So which means, <laughs> see the good time. We are, we are ending this fasting. See tomorrow now. We are going to pray for the new month. August is my month. <laughs> <laughs> my month of double 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 my month my month of double testimony get your water ready let me know when you have it august is my birthday august is my wedding anniversary you see thank you jesus August is my wedding anniversary. August is my mar uh, my birthday. And they are both on the same day. <laughs> my boy, my they are both on the same day. So while I'm celebrating, it's double celebration that day. In the morning, I'm going to come online. I'm going to pray for you. August 19. Ah, ah, you people are keeping the date already. <laughs> Sister Rose. <laughs> ah, August 19 is my birthday. And it's also, it's also my wedding anniversary. So we are coming on air twice. Hallelujah. Hey, that would be great. We'll come online. I'll come online in the morning. I'll come online in the morning. I'm going to pray for you guys on my birthday. Ha. Hey, something must change in your life. <laughs> that would be my birthday gift. For God to do something marvelous, special, unique in your own lives. And then me and my husband will come online in the evening. We'll come online again in the evening. We'll come online in the evening. We're going to pray for marriages in the evening. <laughs> we are going to pray for marriages. Get ready to key yourself into that prayer. And sow into it. Connect to it. 25 years of marriage, 25 years of together, togetherness, 29 years of knowing each other. 29. And it's been a 29 years of joy, peace, and happiness. Come on. It is worth tapping into. It is worth tapping into, I tell you. And you will see what will happen in your own life in Jesus' name. Lift up your water, everybody. Do we all, do we all have our water? In the name of Jesus. I will attend your own marriage, so. Very, very soon, I'll be attending weddings. Sky, I can't wait. All you singles, men, men, men and women, we will be attending your weddings very, very soon in Jesus' name. It is done. Have Just believe it is done. God bless you, Sister Sophia. Now we are going to pray, Sister Sophia, get the water for you and your baby. That water is for you and your baby. As you drink it, each time you are drinking this water, it will be bringing life. To that child to be bringing health to your child to be bringing growth to your child deformation is gone in the name of jesus hey another marriage celebration in august and another woman of god too hallelujah yes yeah, so receive it in the name of jesus receive your husband maria in the name of jesus hallelujah Raise up your water. Do you all have your water? Oh, happy birthday, Musu. God bless you. The Lord that has opened a new door in this new year of your life, every good and perfect gift is yours in Jesus' name. Before the next birthday, your next birthday, you will achieve every achievables in the name of Jesus. As we celebrated yesterday, you will continue to celebrate in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, let us, let us um, lift up our water. Father, we commit our water to you. 
I commit everybody watching at their water to you. And I commit my own water to you too in the name of Jesus. Father, we command this water to become your blood. We command that this water becomes your blood, O oh God. That you will use this blood, O oh God, to cleanse every deposit of the enemies. Everything in our lives that is not of God. Everything that is not from you, that is manipulating our lives. O oh God, today, let this water that is your blood cleanse us, purge us, purify us, sanctify us in the name of Jesus. Make us whole. Father, Lord, as many that need anything, as many that has eaten whatever in the dream, as they drink this water, let those things begin to come out. Let them cough it out in the name of Jesus. Whatever is not of God that you ate or you drank in your dreams, you begin to cough them out as you drink this water that is the blood of Jesus. Everything moving in your body, everything in your body that is not from God, right now as you drink this water, they will check themselves to hell. We command them to go to hell. That is where they belong in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you because this is no ordinary water. This is your blood. Every medical condition, high blood pressure, diabetes, fibroids, you will you will shrink, you will melt, and you will get out of anybody in the name of Jesus. Everybody receive your touch from God, receive your healing, receive your encounter with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. May your name be praised, O God, forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Drink your water for your healing, for your deliverance, for your encounters. Sonia, I pray for your child right now. As you are drinking this water, that your baby is moving. That your baby is Sophia. That your baby will begin to kick. Your baby will begin to be visible. Your baby will begin to grow. And when the right, come from, right time comes for you to put him to bed or her to bed, you will deliver safely in the name of Jesus. And you will come and share your testimony. Your baby, I pray in your womb, Sophia, that your baby will begin to grow in strength, in grace. Ha! The mighty hand of God will rest upon that baby. We dedicate that baby and we dedicate that child to God Almighty. He or she belongs to God. Thank you, Father. I keep saying he, he, he. He belongs to God. Father, may your name be praised. You will soon come back and share your testimony. More testimony in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. It is well with all of us in Jesus' name. Is there anyone here that, that needs prayer? There was a sister that said she feels something moving. Carol Orak, what is wrong with your son? Maria, what is your prayer point? Do you want me to invite you on live video or you want me to just pray for you, Sister Maria? Sister Maria, I'm waiting for your for your feedback. All of you that are pregnant, inbox me. I mean, sorry, not pregnant. All of you that are, all of you that are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, inbox me. I need to fix a time. We need to have like seven days of prayer. We've done one. Ah, your son is not doing good in school. Those of you, you are married though, you must be married. If you are married and you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, not that you are living with your boyfriend. You are not legally married. Not you. I want you that is legally married. You are bearing your husband's name. Son name. And you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I need to fix a time for seven days prayers with you. I've done once and they have graduated to mothers in waiting. So send me prayer request after this video so that I will add you now to the group. We want to do another seven days. It is for the new people. You guys that have done it, you don't have to do it again. Because now I think the Lord is leading me to do it monthly. Now it's going to be going monthly. Find seven days to come together. Seven days of prayer. For you mothers, uh, women, married women, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Oh, say hello to your daughter. It is well with her in Jesus' name. Sister Carol, where is your son? Is your son with you there? Do you want to come on live video? You want me to just speak the word? Sister Carol, is your son with you there? You want me to just speak?
Sister Maria, I pray for you. Put your hand on your forehead. I pray for you, Sister Maria, that everything you have lost in the past, that the Lord will restore them back to you. Everything the enemies have stolen from your life, may, they, may it be restored in hundred folds. Your marriage is restored. Your husband is restored. In the name of Jesus. I pray that the mighty hand of God will locate you today. Let your husband and future life partner locate you. And I pray you will continue to work stronger and stronger for the Lord. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord take you higher. In Jesus' name. Sister Carol, put your hand on your son. I pray for your son. Everything that is making him not to do well in school, we rebuke it. We send them to hell where they belong in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God set him free. Let the power of God deliver him. Let the power of God lose him and let him go. From today, we pray for his brain. We pray for him. In the name of Jesus, it's okay, I pray for him already. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the mighty hand of God rest upon him, upon his life. May God, re may God restore his memory back. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, Makara Rabush. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. I pray for you, Sister Rose. I pray for your ministry for increase. That the Lord will continue to take you from glory to glory. He will begin to take you from grace to grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will continue to go higher and higher. In the name of Jesus, in your business, you will draw men from the north, south, east, and west of your, your country, the country you are residing on. Right now, he will draw them from all over. In the name of Jesus Christ, your business will grow. The Lord will catapult your business. In the name of Jesus. Every power fighting against your finance. Every power fighting, fighting against your business. Let the fire of God begin to fight on your behalf. Let the fire of God begin to fight them on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with your business. It is well with your home. It is well with all your children. It is well with your family. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Sister Vivian, I pray for your business. All of you into business. Lord, that your business will grow. Your business will grow from strength to strength. That God will bring in laborers. God will bring in uh, workers. God will bring on customers. Clientele increase in the name of Jesus. That you will sell your products. And you will give God the glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are grateful. We are living now. Does anyone else need deliverance, spirit, husband issue? Those people, they are not online now. That sister, I told her to, to try to join so that I can pray for her. But I've not seen her. Ooh. I've not seen her. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. We are going to go keep your keep fasting. Keep praying. I need you to go and spend quality time with God. We'll be back here in the morning at... Five. We'll be coming in the morning at is it five or six? When do we come to end our fasting tomorrow morning? Should we come five o'clock or four o'clock? Some people want to sleep a little. We'll come five o'clock. We'll be online five o'clock in the morning to conclude this prayer and to pray into the new month. We need to pray into the new month. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to go see the message that I saw. He says, I are to those. I only request that in your time of prayer. <laughs> Tell, send me your prayer request. Why not? Hallelujah. 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 If you want me to pray for invite you and pray for you, tell me now if you are having uh, spiritual encounters, let me know. 
so that I will invite you and I pray for you. You are having sex in your dream. You are eating in your dream and you are here. Let me know before I go. I will invite you. Uh, amen I know I know he loves me he loves me too much uh, this year I see people that were they didn't come back this, what time are we talking uh, which one is it for the, to conclude the prayer I don't understand the question ma Let me use this one. Okay, we are going now. We are going now. Uh, okay, I pray for your daughter, Sister Vivian. I pray for your daughter, Sister Vivian, that she will go in peace and come back in peace. The mighty hand of God will go with her. The mighty hand of God will protect her. As she is there, she will be protected. No weapon fashioned against her shall prosper. You will not hear evil reports concerning your daughter. Your daughter, in the name of Jesus, she's covered and she's protected in the name of Jesus. May your name be praised forever in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Yeah, it's 5, 5 a.m. British time. We are coming back. That is your 6 a.m. So set your alarm, 5 a.m. Okay, 5 a.m., not p.m. 5 a.m. in the morning to conclude the 24 hours. So make sure you join 5 a.m. 5 a.m. in the morning. Make sure you join 5 a.m. in the morning. So from now to that 5 a.m., I want you to go to the Lord yourself. I want you to go and spend time in his presence by yourself. I want you to go take your Bible. You've not been praying. You've not been doing this. You've not been spending quality time with God. Take your Bible now. Go to your closet and say, Lord, in these remaining hours, before this fasting, Lord, I will not leave you. I will not let you go. You have to do something in my life. There has to be a change in my life. There has to be a transformation in my life. You need to begin to tell God about that. Tell him, use the time, this time now until 5 a.m. in the morning when we'll come back. Use this time to connect with God. Use this time to connect with him personally. I want to give you that time to connect with him personally. 5 a.m. tomorrow morning concludes the 24 hours fasting. That is correct. Thank you. Spend time with him. Spend time. And he will direct you. He will direct you. He will, direct, he will guide you. He will direct your path. He will show you where to go. He will reveal things to you. He will open your spiritual sight. So don't just now, because you are watching video to video to video. That one is good too. But have your personal time with God, please. It's very important. It's very important for us to have our own quality time with God. It is very, very important. I pray for you. Yeah, is it Yelen? Yelen is actually pray for you. I pray for you that God will remember you. Wherever you have been forgotten, let God remember you. Wherever your name has been forgotten, in those offices, let God remember you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cover everyone of you in the blood of Jesus. Cover myself in the blood of Jesus. Cover this platform in the blood of Jesus. Every word you have received today, we soak in the blood of Jesus that this word will not fall on the soil and die. That this word will not fall on the... He will not, it will not fall on, on, on the fertile ground. The mighty hand of God will rest upon you. You shall dominate right now in the name of Jesus. Believe all of you singles, you are getting married. The Lord is settling you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you and your household. Your husband will locate you. All the men, you will locate your wives in the name of Jesus. Let your name be let your name be praised forever. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Do a work in them. 
do a work in them. Perfect all that concerns every one of us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Cover our families, our husbands, our children, our widow wives, our jobs, our, our uh, jobs, our houses, properties, everything we soak in the blood of Jesus. It is well with all of us. It is well with all of us, and it is well with all of us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. It is settled. It is done in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We appreciate you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless every one of us. If you are just coming, please go back and watch the whole video. And key yourself into all the prayer. Enough is enough, really. We've had enough. Enough is enough. This is the time for a change. There has to be a change, a supernatural change. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful night rest. Bye-bye. Love you guys. I love you all. Bye.